Hey guys, so today with us uh, we have uh, the Western Digital Blue SN550 NVMe SSD. This is an uh, 250 GB SSD NVMe from Western Digital Blue. So you can see the read write speed is uh, given as 2400 megabytes per second. So let's just unbox this and uh, put them in the cabinet and uh, let's see if uh, this is really worth the price i have paid it so if you're wondering how much i have paid i had, did pay 4200 rupees on and around hey what's up guys this is abhishek gargad so let's get started So here it is the all new NVMe SSD from Western Digital that is right in front of me and you can take a look at it a closer look here you have the SSD we have got some paperwork as well that uh, we will see it later now uh, let's just uh, see the NVMe drive it is really compact let's just take it out now and uh, we'll see so oh my god this is really a compact format you can see it how compact it is and uh, it is an nvme drive which means we are going to get 2.5 gigabytes per second of read write speed with this nvme ssd it is like a piece of art i recommend everyone should have this nvme in their machine so as you can see here is the NVMe slot it supports up to three sizes mine SSD is the longest one so we will be taking out the last screw and further we will be cloning that SSD with my old WD green SATA SSD you just have to slide the SSD in at a 45 degrees angle uh, a little bit a gentle push and then press the back portion and uh, secure it with a screw then uh, that's it that is how you install an NVMe SSD okay so here we have the mini partition tool we will uh, just uh, try to install it and uh, let's see uh, this I have already installed I will uninstall that one so you just have to click accept the agreement which is never read now uh, click on next next create a shortcut and uh, click on install uh, it is a really small software for this i'll leave a link in the description please go ahead and check the link in the description so click on click on finish now this is a pop-up let's cancel it now you will get this window you have to select launch the application so basically i have already i am already using this uh, SSD in my computer you I'll tell you the procedure you just follow this a uh, Replace this old hard disk whatever it is there to choose a option click next and in case You are just migrating your OS and you want to keep your original files right over here in this that uh, old disk Whatever it was there you can uh, select the B option. I will uh, just go with the a one you have to click next now here you can see uh, next is highlighted over here because in my hard disk there is this is an hard disk you can see it is a seagate barracuda st100 so this is the uh, external disk that i have attached so it is showing you next but if you see here swdc wds it is sn550 what we have unboxed just now i have installed the os on it you can see here the next is not popping up now you have to choose your previous uh, OS that whatever is there and select next yes you have to say it yes and uh, just don't make any changes over here click next and finish and when you click on apply it will start applying and apparently this screen will appear what you are seeing right in front of you and uh, it, it will restart for a couple of times and uh, it will take less than uh, like 15 or 20 minutes but your work will be done in super fine here we have the two windows ready one is the task manager and one is a software that i am using to test this ssd so let's just on sequential 
uh, read and write speed so when you see you will see the hike in the read and write speed you can see the read speed goes up to 2.5 gigabytes per second which is really insane for this uh, small piece of art so here it is the speed Even the right speeds were pumping up to a one gigabyte of uh, on an average. And you will never notice what was the problem with your PC. You will just see how fast are these NVMe SSD. My PC kind of boots like just in 12 seconds or 10 seconds or so. It is really grateful machine. So pretty much that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to our channel. So this is Abhishek Gargad. See you in the next video.